how to create a website like Amazon. Hey guys, Rana here and this is the original Amazon website. And this is the website that we are going to create in this video. There are three types of subscription that you can add on your website. Free subscription, paid subscription and recurring subscription. It is just like Amazon where people can sign up for any subscription and become a seller. And you know that when sellers sell their goods on your website, you get some commission. Moreover, you can monetize your website with any ad network like Google AdSense or any type of ad network out there. There are tons of other cool features that we are going to cover in this video. If you are ready, let's get started and let me show you how you can create a website like Amazon. Alright guys, to create any website whether it's e-commerce or website like Amazon or literally any kind of website, there are two requirements, web hosting and domain name. If you do not know what is web hosting and domain name, well, web hosting is a place where all your website file will be stored. It's like a computer where you store all your media, all your stuff, okay? So in the same way, hosting is like a computer where you're gonna put all your website files, including everything. And domain name is going to be a website name, like google.com, amazon.com. These are the domain names. To create a website like Amazon, we need a web hosting and domain name. So there are many web hosting companies out there who provides you web hosting and domain name, but handful of them are the best. But in this video, I'm going to show you one of the best web hosting company out there. This is my number one web hosting company that I'm going to show you in this video. First of all, you have to type this URL, runnersvfx slash gd, which stands for GoDaddy. When you open this URL, you will be redirected to GoDaddy's website. So here you will see different types of web hosting plan. If you look at here, we have starter plan, economy, deluxe and ultimate. In the starter plan, you can see you can host only one website. If you go with economy and deluxe or ultimate, you will get a free domain name as well, as well as a professional email for one year. I highly recommend you to go with at least economy plan if you want to if you're just getting started okay if you already have a domain name then you can host your domain name with godaddy and select starter plan but if you do not have domain name or web hosting you can get both of them with economy deluxe or ultimate plan so i'll go with economy plan click on add to cart so on this page type your domain name remember domain name is going to be your website name so i'm going to search my domain name and then click on submit so here you can see this domain name is not available because this domain name is already taken by someone else. So I have to try a different domain name. Let's try a different domain and then click on submit. All right guys, so as you can see, this domain name is available and this is a free domain because we selected the economy plan. So that's why you don't have to pay for domain name. Now simply click on select and continue. So guys here, you have to select your billing cycle. I'm going to go with 12 month. Okay, got it. So here you can see we got a free professional email for one year. That's great. Rest of the things are good here. So here you can see we got the promo code here. If you go to the description box of this video, you will find different types of promo code in order to buy web hosting from GoDaddy. Okay. Once you're happy with your changes, click on I'm ready to pay. Now you have to sign up with GoDaddy. If you already have account, click on sign in. Let's quickly sign in with Google. Type your Google account. Let's sign in with this email. Click next. Type your password, click next. Now click on create an account. You have successfully created an account. That's great. All right guys, so here you have to fill the billing information. Let's quickly fill in the details. That's great. Simply click on save. Okay, so now you have to select your payment method. I'm gonna select UPI because I live in India. Here we got UPI payment method. So I'm gonna type my UPI ID over here really quick and click on review order. And now simply click on complete purchase. Okay, we have successfully placed an order. Now you can go to your account, click on go to my account button and access your web hosting. If you do not know where is my account tab, you can simply go to your profile, this drop down button, and then you can click on my product. Let's scroll down. Now click on manage all alongside web hosting. Now click on this drop down button and click on setup. So now you have to select your domain. I'm going to select this domain that we just bought with this plan. So here you have to select your data center. I'm going to select Asia. 
Now click on yes, let's do it. Type your WordPress username and create your password and type your password once again and then click on next. So here you can create a branded email ID which look more professional and then click on finish. So this process can take few minutes. Updating domain, applying things, onboarding completed successfully. Now click on go to the dashboard. So I'm going to click on no, I don't want to participate and then click on confirm. So guys, we have successfully installed a WordPress. To access your WordPress dashboard, simply click on admin, scroll down and click on use default WordPress and then click on yes, I'm sure. And then click on no thanks, I just want to exit. Okay, now let's move with the next part of this video. In this part, we're going to look at the WordPress essential settings. But before that, if you notice that I've changed my domain name for some reason, but it doesn't really matter. You can stick with your own domain that you bought with GoDaddy or any web hosting company. It doesn't really matter. Just stick for this video tutorial. I've changed my domain name because this is a tutorial video and this is local website. Anyways, let's look at WordPress essential settings. First of all, if you're a totally beginner, this is a WordPress dashboard or you can say this is the backend of your WordPress website left side you will see all the features that comes with wordpress these are the default wordpress tools that you can use to edit your website anyways the essential settings of wordpress first of all hover your mouse over settings and click on general so in the general settings we have site title which is already there this is still editable you can change if you want you can change it if you want below we have the tagline you can type your tagline since in this video, we are going to create a website like Amazon. You can type your website tagline according to your e-commerce website. Let's type something like buy anything you like. Great. Below, you don't have to change these URL because if they both are the same, then you don't have to change anything over here. And here you have to type your real administrator email. Go ahead, type your email ID over here. Since this is an e-commerce website, you have to allow others to register on your website by checking this box. Okay. New user default role should be what? I'll go with subscriber. Okay. Site language, English, completely fine. You can change your site language from this drop down menu. Time zone. I'm from India. So I'm going to select my time zone. Next, we have the date and time format. I'm going to select this one. Time is completely fine for me. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on save changes. Next, let's look at the writings tab. So here you don't have to change anything. Let's go to reading tab. Again, right now you don't have to change anything. Let's look at the discussion tab. So guys, here we have the default post setting. Here you can enable or disable these features. Just read the line. If you don't like this feature, just uncheck it. Attempt to notify any blog link to form to the post. I'm going to leave it checked three of them. I'm going to check this one. User must be registered and logged in to comment. This is very important. If you uncheck it, there is most likely a chance to increase the spammers on your website. Below, you don't have to change anything. Just keep scrolling down and click on save changes. Let's look at the media. Here, you can change your thumbnail size, media size. It's all up to you. I'm going to leave it as a default. I'm completely fine with the settings. This is the permalinks. Go to permalinks. In the permalinks, we have the common settings and the optional. In the permalink settings, make sure you select the post name, which is as your friendly link. So remember this post name should be selected. Finally, click on save changes. Privacy. In privacy, you have to select your privacy policy page. If you don't have privacy policy page, you can create a new one by clicking on the create button. It will take you to the page creation tab. From there, you have to type your own privacy policy. Once you create your privacy policy, come to this page and refresh it and select your privacy policy page from the drop down menu and click on use this page as your privacy policy. I think you got it. If still not got it, check out the description box or you can rewatch the part of this video. Anyways, we are finished with the essential settings of WordPress. Let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so let's move with the next part of this video. In this part, we are going to look at how to install a theme in your website. But before that, let's look at your website. Have your mouse over here, right click, open link in a new tab and let's look at your website. So this is the default look of your WordPress website and this is a front end. 
And this is the back end, as you know, and this is the front end. So by default, there is a boring design, boring theme, and there is no content here. So we are not going to publish this type of website over the internet unless, unless we complete it. Okay. To install a theme, let's close this one first. Hover your mouse over appearance and then click on themes. So here you can see this 2022 theme is activated and 2020 and 2021 theme is already installed but is not active. First of all, delete them. I'm going to click on delete, click OK, select the theme, click delete, click OK. This way you delete useless themes. And this way you can increase the space in your web hosting. Anyways, to install a new theme, just click on add new. So when you click on add new button here, you will see we have different types of tab here. You will see a popular, latest, favorite, feature filter. And here you can see we have 5,149 themes available for us to install. But these are the free theme guys that you can install. But in this video, we're not going to install any of this theme. We are going to install a premium theme for a premium website like Amazon. To install a theme, first of all, click on upload theme button and it will open this choose file button. So leave this page as it is. Now open a new tab. So here, just simply type this URL, run as VFX slash theme hunk and press enter. It'll take you to theme hunks website which known as a best WordPress theme and template for premium WordPress website. Okay, so right now you have to go to this drop down menu alongside themes and click on pro themes. You will see the collections of premium themes in 2022. But in this video, we are interested only in this theme, the shop mania pro. Hover your mouse over here, click on view more. Now you will redirect to different page. So here, you can scroll down and see all the templates that comes with this pro theme. In this video, we're going to use this theme, Amaze Mania Multi Vendor Theme. This is just like an Amazon website, guys. To get this theme, all you have to do, just simply click on choose your plan. So it will show you two types of plan. You can go either with annual or you can go with lifetime plan. So this is going to be a one time payment, guys. If you want only this theme, you can go with this single plan this is going to be a one-time payment with this price point you will get only this theme however you can install this theme on unlimited domains there would be no restrictions but if you go with full membership you will get 20 plus premium theme and 5 plus premium plugin and of course and of course you can choose them on unlimited domains as well and there are many other features that comes with these plans great if you want to buy a single theme just simply click on buy now button and it will take you to this page. Here you still have option to select full membership, full membership lifetime. For this instance, if you want to buy shop mania for lifetime, select your plan. Below you will see a optional services that you can use. I'm going to skip this, scroll down a little bit. You will see payment system. Here you can use Stripe, PayPal, Fastspring, whatever type of payment gateway you like to use, select from here. I like PayPal and then type your user detail and choose your password and confirm type your password. Select your country. I'm from India. Enter your coupon code if you have one. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is. Anti-spam. Check this box. I'm not robot. And then click on next. So guys, here you have to pay this amount in order to buy this plan. Since I already have full membership theme hunk plan, so I'm not going to buy it. I found this website. I found this plan very affordable. I just can't wait to skip this opportunity to buy this affordable plan for this price point in order to get all these uh, premium theme and premium plugins. So I quickly buy it. Anyways, I'm going to log in into my account. First of all, let me log out quickly. I'm going to log in with my existing account. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I've got full membership lifetime plan over here. But in the beginning, when I saw Theme Hunk first time, I bought Shop Mania Pro plan. So when I realized that this is worth the money to buy full membership for a lifetime, I quickly buy it, guys, as you can see here. So I got all these features over here. Anyways, once you bought your theme, go ahead, download your theme. I'm going to click on Shop Mania theme. Go ahead, download the theme. As you can see, we got the theme over here. Now, next thing you have to do, you have to download your 
Shop Mania Pro plugin as well. Go ahead, download that as well. Okay, once you got both of them, next thing you have to do, let's close this out, close the theme mug, go to your website, and here, just drag and drop your theme file. Let me show you how. First of all, drag and drop your theme that you just download. Click on install now button. So once you install a theme, now you have to click on activate in order to activate your theme. All right. So we have installed a theme. Now you can delete this 2022. Now you can delete this 2022 theme as well. Select the theme, click on delete button and click OK. This way you can delete the theme. So here you can see that we got only this theme, the shop mania. Next, we have to install a demo. In order to do it, click on install demo button at the very top. It will take you to this page, parents, the shop mania options. Here, you have to install this plugin in order to install a demo content. Demo content means we are simply importing all the demo material or the demo website that you have seen in the beginning of this video. So quickly install this plugin by clicking on the install button. Alright guys, so this plugin has been installed successfully. By the way, if you do not know what the plugins are and how the plugins work, well, there are different types of plugins out there that helps your WordPress website to add different types of core functionality. Okay, so plugin has been activated successfully. Now, next thing you have to do, you have to go to the dashboard. Let's have you mouse over plugins and click on installed plugins. And let's look at how many plugins has been installed here. So here you can see we got only one plugin here and we got only one theme. That's great. Now, have you mouse over appearance? Under the appearance, you have to click on the theme hug import demo site. So here, scroll down and now we need to install this template. Click on it. So here you can see it says buy now. Why is that? We just bought a plan from ThemeHunk website, but it still says buy now just because we didn't install the plugin. Let's have you mouse over plugins, click on add new and here click on upload plugin, just like a theme and now drag and drop your plugin. This is a pro plugin. Drag and drop here, click on install now and now activate the plugin. Great. As you can see, we got two plugins installed and activated. Now, have you mouse over appearance and then click on demo import site. Now you have to scroll down. Now click on this Amaze Mania multi vendor. Now that buy now button has been gone. Now click on install plugins. It will install WooCommerce, Elementor, TH product search and so on. So it may take some time. So I'm going to speed this video up and I'll come back once it's done. A few moments later. Okay, so plugin has been successfully installed and activated. Now we have to install this complete site. To do it, simply click on import this site button and then click on OK. So this process may take some time. I'm going to speed this video up once again and I'll come back once the process finish. A few moments later. Now we got this button right here, done view site. Now click on it. All right, so as you can see, we have successfully installed a demo site on our website. So now let's close this out. Let's, let's close this out as well. Now go to the dashboard. Okay, let's move with the next part of this video. In this part, we're going to look at how to create a membership for your e-commerce website, or you can say website like Amazon. With this type of membership, anyone can subscribe to your membership to become a seller on your e-commerce website. It is just like Amazon where you have to pay some monthly subscription in order to become a seller on Amazon. So let's see how to create a membership on your e-commerce website. In your WordPress dashboard, you'll see marketplace. Click on that. So here you can see we have this type of dashboard. Okay. So here click on membership. Now you will see we have tutorial button, membership plan table, preview button, or we have add new button. Let's click on add new. So here you can see we have different types of settings. First of all, you have to type your membership name. I'm going to call it basic. Next, you have to label your subscribe button. In this case, subscribe now, which is completely fine. Below, you can type a description for this basic plan. Next, let's go to subscription. Here you can create three types of membership. You can create free membership by checking this box. Here you can add expiry date or you can choose by month or year. Let's uncheck this one or you can create membership for one time or recurring. 
If you go with one time, it'll ask you payment mode, which is integrated payment option, or you can choose WooCommerce checkout. It's all up to you. If you go with WooCommerce checkout, here you have to select the product that you have created with WooCommerce. If you want to know how to integrate with WooCommerce checkout, drop a comment in the comment section below, or you can watch my WooCommerce tutorial series that you'll find in the video description that you'll find in the video description. Anyways, let's continue with integrate payment option. And here you have to type the payment amount. You can say this basic plan cost $50 expiry date. You can add expiry date if you want. Let's say this basic plan run for one month. Okay. Or maybe 10 months. It's all up to you. If you leave it empty, it will be for lifetime. Okay, so that's what really means for one time payment. If you go with the recurring subscription type here, you can see you still have option to select your payment type. And here you can see we have trial billing period, trial billing amount, which I'm going to leave it empty. And next we have the billing details, billing amount each cycle would be $50 billing cycle for one month billing cycle count. If you want to add, you can add that reattempt on failure. You can check this box. That would be best practice. If someone fails to complete the payment, they can retry to pay this amount. Next, scroll up, go to approval, required approval for this subscription. You can check this box. If application rejected, keep as a normal user. Okay. So on your website, there are two types of user. One who buy things on your website and second who becomes the seller on your website. So here I'm going to uncheck this one. Next. We have the thank you in the thank you page. We have the content. You can change this content if you have your own content. Next, we have the welcome email here. Again, you can change this welcome email as well. Next, we have the commission. Commission goes to vendor. Commission mood by global or percentage fixed. It's all up to you. You can select any type of commission mood by going to this drop down menu. Okay. Next, we have the capability. This comes with WCFM group and staff. Here you don't have to do anything. Let's look at the batches. In order to enable batches, you have to upgrade your WCFM to WCFM Ultimate. Okay, so here we don't have to do anything. You can disable this membership anytime. If you don't want to show that, you can hide this from your table. Okay, once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on submit button down below here. Next, let's click on this settings icon. So here we have the required approval. You can check this box if you want a required approval. Email verification on registration. If you want that, you can check this option. Custom plan page. If you have custom plan on your website, you can select from here. But right now we didn't create any kind of custom plan on this website. Below, we have the custom thank you page. If you have created your custom plan, or thank you page you can select from here but right now like i mentioned earlier we haven't created any custom plan or custom thank you page on this website okay below you can see we have the subscription first step which would be choose plan or registration let's go with choose plan and then your customer or your seller go through the registration but in the beginning they have to choose a plan and then go with registration okay next we have the basic membership select your basic membership that we just created Future membership, we haven't created any future membership yet. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Again, we have the subscribe now label, which is completely fine. Membership plan display visibility priority, left or right. I'm going to choose basic, start with the left and then other membership will display on the right side. First, there will be a basic membership in the middle. There would be a other membership plan and so on and so forth. Okay, let's look at the features. Here you can add a feature list if you want. Right now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's look at the registration field here. What type of field you want to enable on your website when someone register on your website. So first, I like to check first name, last name and store address and store phone and terms and condition and below select your terms and condition page, terms and condition. But right now we don't have terms and condition page. So I'm going to keep it as it is anyways below you can see we have the custom fields i'm not going to enable custom field right now let's go to payments here select the payment method i'm going to select paypal you can select stripe or bank transfer type your paypal email 
really quick. I'm going to type mine. And your payment terms, if you have your own payments term, you can type in over here. Next, let's look at the text settings. You can enable text if you want, but right now I'm going to leave it as it is. For more information about text settings, you can check out the description box of this video and watch my WooCommerce tutorial series to learn more about text or anything related to text. Anyways, let's look at the thank you. Again, we have the thank you page. We have the welcome email, admin notification, which is completely fine guys. Membership change. When someone change their membership, what type of message they will receive. It's all there. You don't have to change anything. But if you still want to change some text, go ahead, type your own. Next, we have the next payment. Here you can see your membership plan. This one, subscription next billing date this one kindly pay now there is a two time pay now remove one of them to keep your account active when the seller's membership about to expire this message will send to the seller or you can say vendor vendor means the seller who buys the subscription on your website now let's look at the renewal notification so here you can see the vendor or the seller will receive a email notification when his or her membership about to expire. Okay, cancel rule. Again, we have the cancel notification or email notification written over here. We have expiry, rejection, everything is completely fine. Style, pay for product. You don't have to change anything guys. Simply click on submit button and you are good to go let's look at your membership table there you go guys here you can see we got this basic membership plan over here let's copy the whole url and open the private window and paste and press enter and here you can see we got the subscribe button over here let's click on subscribe now so as you can see first the vendor or the seller go through the plan selection and then they have to complete the registration. Next, they have to complete the payment. And finally, they will reach to the thank you page. Okay, let's quickly complete the registration. Check this box and click on register. So now you can see seller has to go through this payment option. Select the PayPal, click proceed. They will redirect to the payment gateway, which is PayPal. Here, they have to pay this amount in order to buy the subscription and once they complete their payment they will reach at the thank you page so this is how you can create a membership plan on your e-commerce website to make money which is awesome right you can create as many membership plan by going to the membership okay so here you can see we created only one membership let's quickly create another one click on add new i'm gonna call it silver label is completely fine click on submit scroll up click on the settings select your featured membership which is silver next here priority second should be silver the rest of the things are completely fine finally click on submit and let's look at the table and here you can see we got the basic and the most popular which is featured listing which is known as silver you can change the pricing by going to the payments tab or maybe Let's go back to the membership. I think we forget to add the payment. Let's open, let's add it to your silver. And here, let's go to the subscription. It would be the recurring payment type, type $100 here for each month. Click on submit. Now come back to this page and refresh the page. There you go. So this is how you can create your featured membership on your e-commerce website. Or you can say a website like Amazon. Awesome, right? So let's quickly close this out. So I hope you learn how to create a membership on your e-commerce website. So now let's look at the other settings of the marketplace dashboard. So here you can see we have the home. Inside the home, you can see your seller can check their earning commission, the number of items that they have sold, the order number that they have received. Below, they can, they can look at the store analytics, sale by product, notification inquiry and so on okay so this is basically analytic dashboard of your of the seller's marketplace next we have the media inside the media you can see all the uploaded items like images files each and everything let's go to the articles here you can add new article 
or you can say a blog post on your website if you want. There are two ways. You can either go to the WordPress dashboard to create a post or you can come to this marketplace in order to create article or you can say blog post. Both are the same thing guys. Here what you see, these are the sample articles. You have to delete them by clicking on the delete button and then add your own. Next we have the products. So all of them are sample products. You have to delete them once you completely design your website. Next we have the orders here. Seller can see all the orders by going to this section. Withdrawal, here they can see the withdrawal amount. They can print it out. They can download as PDF, Excel or CSV file. Okay, next we have the coupons. Now seller can create a coupon code by going to this section. Next we have the store vendor. Here you can add as many vendor as you want. But right now there is a no vendor over here because we haven't tried out a vendor registration or you can say fake vendor registration on this website just for this video tutorial i'll show you what happened when someone become a vendor or you can say become a seller on your website but right now let's look at the customer here vendor can see or the admin of the website can see all the customer listed over here so this person spent zero dollar on your website as you can see but this is a one of the customer of your website next we have the membership that you have already seen and both of them are recurring subscription type. Let's look at the reviews. Here you can look at all the reviews that has been submitted by the customer for the product on your website. Next, you can see the refund. In this section, you will receive all the refund requests from the customer on your website. Below, we have the report. Here you can look at the report of your website like gross sale in this period, net sale in this period and so on guys each and everything will be displayed over here. Next we have the settings. In this settings we have the dashboard where your seller can upload a logo, quick access icon here they can change the label of their store. Okay we we'll look at this section later on. Let's look at the capability. So here you can on and off all of these features if you don't like them. All these features are absolutely fine. You should turn it on that help you to increase more sale on your website. Finally we have the logout feature. Here your seller can log out from their marketplace. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on save at the very bottom. So now let's look at how someone will become a seller on your website or you can say the vendor on your e-commerce website. First of all, let's open vendor registration in a new tab, copy the URL and now let's open the private window, paste and go. So here you can see this is a vendor registration. In order to become a vendor or the seller, your customer has to fill this registration form and then click on submit. Now the vendor has to go through these steps. First, they have to go through the welcome to Amazon. Let's go. Here they have to complete the store setup. They can skip this step if they want. However, they still have the option to fill these details. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this tab. Keep skipping these tab and I'll show you how to completely fill these details later on whenever you skip these steps. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. So here you can see the vendor or the seller will see exact same marketplace where they can add the product, they can see their orders, they can see their payments, they can add their articles and so on. Let's look at the articles. So here you can see this vendor does not create any article. The article limit is unlimited. By clicking on add new button, they can create a new article for their products. And this article will published on this website. Below, you can see we have the products. Here you will see all the listed product submitted by this seller. So we have recently created a new account. Right now, this seller does not have any product. To add new product, click on add new button. So here, you can see we have different types of product that this seller can submit on your website. We have the simple product, variable product, grouped product or external affiliate product. If you check out my WooCommerce tutorial series that you can create with your WooCommerce plugin. Like I mentioned earlier, go to the description box of this video and watch my WooCommerce tutorial series and learn how to create a product in your e-commerce website with WooCommerce plugin. In the same way, you can add a product on your marketplace or you can say on this e-commerce website okay 
So I'm going to skip this part. Next we have the order because I don't want to waste your time. I have already created a video for you guys. Anyways, in the order section, the seller can see all the orders that they have received. Okay. Next we have the payments. In this section, they will see all the payments that they have received. They can withdraw the payment by clicking on withdraw request button. Next we have the coupons. The seller can create a coupon code for their product if they want. Otherwise, the seller can leave it as it is. Next, we have the customers. Here, they will see all the customer name, location, email, orders, and the money spent, and each and everything will be displayed on this section. Ledger book, they can check out their total earning, total withdrawal, and total refund. Basically, they can see there are all the analytic reports of their earning. Next, we have the reviews. In the review section, seller can look at the reviews that has been submitted by the customer on their product. When someone submit a review on their product, the seller can reply to the customer reviews directly from here. Next, we have the reports. Again, this is an analytic dashboard where the seller can look at the total earning, gross sale in this period. They can look at gross sale by this month, last month, and so on. Next, we have the settings. So here you can see the store setting is uncompleted it says 44% is completed, rest of the settings are uncompleted. Let's look at the store. Here you can see we have the store name, store slug, store email, store phone, store logo, store banner. You can add the banner, you can add a video, each and everything you can add over here. Okay. Next we have the location, you can add your store address over here. Next we have the payment, preferred payment method, you can select PayPal. Let's type your PayPal email. Next we have the shipping. Here you have to select the shipping type, processing time, one or three business days would be the processing time and shipping type. Select your shipping type from here. Right now we haven't created any shipping. Go to the WooCommerce plugin and create a shipping and then come to this page and select the shipping type. Okay. Next we have the SEO. Here you can type the SEO title for your store. Let's say you're selling t-shirts, type t-shirts meta description this is also going to help your store to rank let's type t-shirt comma shirt and meta keywords are the same let's copy it and paste it over here below you can see we have the facebook setup facebook title facebook description something like that facebook image you can add it over here so i'm not gonna do it same thing goes with twitter you can type your twitter title description twitter image once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on save. Next, we have the store policy. Here you can type your own shipping policy, refund policy or cancel or return exchange policy. Okay, here you can type policy tab label. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on save. That'll keep your changes saved. Next, we have the customer support. Here you can add your phone number, email and your store address so that your customer can reach to you if they need any help to buy any product. At the very bottom, you will see the store hours. Here you can enable store hour if you want the opening time and date and closing time and date. Otherwise, you can keep it unchecked. Keep your store always open. So I'm not going to enable the store hours. So finally, we are done with the store setting of seller account. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on save. So this is how anyone can become a seller on your website and you also learn that how seller can submit any product on your website by going to the product page if you still don't know how to submit the product on your website like i mentioned earlier guys don't forget to check out my woocommerce tutorial series where you learn each and everything about submitting or listing a product on your e-commerce website this is a basically different design but concept are the same. Just go ahead and watch my WooCommerce tutorial series if you learn more about submitting or listing a product on your e-commerce website. Anyways, one more thing that we have forget that if you click on the social button over here, here you can see you can type your Twitter handler, Facebook handler. Handler means your Twitter URL like twitter.com slash runners vfx or facebook same thing facebook.com slash runners vfx in the instagram you can type 
instagram.com slash learners vfx you can reach out to me on my social media platform if you need any help regarding this video or, or any video that you watch on my channel okay once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on save button here you can see we have the personal under the personal you can add the avatar this will be your store image the first name last name or your phone number should be here below you can type about yourself okay next we have the address that you already seen shipping address should be the same in the social we recently added our social media handler next we have the membership we already subscribed to this basic membership you can cancel this membership anytime by clicking on the cancel button if your seller feel like they have to upgrade their membership by clicking on this button they can upgrade their membership as well all right guys so we are done with this part of this video now let's move with the next part of this video where i'll show you how you can customize your e-commerce website okay let's move with the next part of this video in this part we're going to look at how to customize your e-commerce website or you can say website like amazon so this is the back end as you know that let's hover your mouse over here and right click open link in a new tab it'll open your wordpress front end okay now click on the customize button so this is the customization section in the left hand side you will see all the options that you can change or edit inside your e-commerce website inside the customization we will customize only the top header section and the footer section okay and let's see how you do it you can go through these each customization settings one by one or you can simply click on these pencil icons to change things let me show you what i mean by that first of all let's click on this pencil icon it will take you to the editing section in the left hand side here you can change the logo or you can remove this logo if you want let's try to change a logo click on change logo here you can drag and drop your own logo if you already created a logo for your e-commerce website if you do not know how to create a logo you can check out the description box of this video and learn how to create a logo for free within 5 or 10 minutes anyways let me drag and drop a logo really quick over here so let's drag this logo and then click select highlight your logo and then click on crop image there you go you can see we just changed the logo below we have the retina logo i'm gonna leave it as it is logo width you can increase or decrease the number from here by changing this slider as you can see or you can type a number if you want below we have site title you still have option to change your site title i'm gonna call it amazon or you can type whatever you like below we have the tagline by checking this box you can display the site title or tagline below we have the site icon this site icon means fabicon let me show you how it looks like when you upload a site icon click on that i'm gonna select the same image click select skip cropping or maybe i should crop this image crop image now it's look better once you're happy with your changes don't forget to click on publish now let me show you how to edit this menu when you click on this pencil icon it will take you to the editing section from the left side here we have the different types of menu we have the menu we have the sticky we have the footer menu let's edit menu one click on edit menu here you can see we have the home which is right here we have the shop new arrival on sale and so on if you want to add more items simply click on add item button and now you can add any item that you like you can add pages you can add custom links you can add post products categories or even you can add product categories let's add something like clothing below we have the girls collection we have the women's collection so here you can see we have added clothing girls collection and women's collection now I'm going to show you how you can create a drop down menu to do it simply drag the item below any item where you like to create a drop down menu as soon as you do it you simply created a drop down menu first of all let's click on publish and close this out and now look at here you can see we have created a drop down menu awesome right let's go back to the customization once again now click on this pencil icon edit the menu so in this menu you should add your product category some important pages and that's the pretty much it do not add any single product or anything else this would be a best practice for e-commerce website let's go back go back once again now scroll down at the very bottom 
So here, click on this pencil icon. So here you can see we got block widget, click got it. So inside this, you can see we have this logo. You can replace this logo with your own logo if you want by clicking on replace button, open media library, select your logo, click select and let's see, there you go. And below, you can change this text if you want, highlight the text and start typing your own text. Once you're happy with your changes, click on publish. Let's go back. Now let's change this text. Here you can see they have added the custom links. Okay. You can add your own custom link. If you want, click over here, press enter. You can start typing your own text. You can say privacy policy, highlight the text, click over here, type your privacy policy URL. For this example, I'm simply typing hash and click over here. So this way you added a new link. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on publish. So in the same way, you can edit your footer area and don't forget to change your copyright text. Click over here and type your copyright text. Okay. And below you can see we have different types of layout in the footer section. And here you can see we have column one, which is text. You can change it to whatever type of column you want. I'm going to leave it as it is. And right below that we have the height and top border. You can increase or decrease this number. You can see. Okay, so I'm going to keep it 40, which is perfect setting for our footer area. Below, we have the border color. You can change this color according to your theme design. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So I'm happy with these changes. Let's click on publish. So now you understand how to change your header area and your footer area of your e-commerce website. If you go back here, you can go through these customization options one by one and see what are the settings available inside each customization section okay and change it to your website design okay it's all about creativity guys just play around with this customization section in a few minutes for more customization video tutorial you can check out the description box of this video because i have already created a video tutorial for you guys don't forget to check out the description box of this video anyways let's go back here and let's close this out. Okay, now let me show you another way to customize the middle section of your website. This whole section designed with Elementor Page Builder, which is a drag and drop editor to design any kind of website. Let me show you how this Elementor Page Builder works. Let's quickly click on edit with Elementor. If you see something like this, seems like your kit was deleted, please recreate a new one or try to restore it from trash. Simply click on recreate kit button. It will take you to this page. Now click on recreate kit and click on save changes. Now visit your site. Now click on edit with Elementor once again. So here you can see that error message has been gone. Now we have opened the Elementor page builder. In the left hand side, you can see all the sections that you can use to design your e-commerce website or you can say any kind of website. So now I'm going to show you how you can edit this middle area of your e-commerce website so that you can remove the entire sample products and you can add your own original product into this e-commerce website. First of all, you can see in the background area, we have these images. We have three slider images over here. First of all, click on this edit section button. It will show you the whole setting of this section. This layout is a full width layout. And there are few of the settings that has been changed by default. Now let's look at how to replace these images with your own images. Let's click over here. And here you can see we have column area in the right side. If you open that, you can see we have the image carousel. I don't know how you pronounce it, but open this element inside this element. You can see we have three images. Click on any image. You can delete any image or you can upload a new image from your media library or you can upload image from your computer. Just drag and drop your image and then you can select that image. You can add it into your website. Click on the edit gallery. Click on the image here. You can see the size of this image. Go to your Photoshop or any photo editing software. Choose the resolution about the same and design your own image. Okay. Once you have the image ready, you can upload your own image inside this element. Okay. 
which known as image carousels. So guys here you can see these are the settings that has been changed by default. When we install this demo template of Elementor, these are the settings that we have got with this dummy templates. You can change it if you want. Play around with these settings once you're familiar with Elementor page builder. But if you're totally new to Elementor, just change the things that I'm showing you in this video. Place these images. Once you do it, let's go over here. Click on this section. Now we are inside this section, inner section. Expand that. Here you can see we have four columns over here. One, two, three, and four. Inside this column, expand that. You can see we have the heading, which is right here. You can hide or show these headings if you want. We have the heading, we have the product category. When you click on that, in the left side, you can see we have the editing section. Here, expand the content setting. Here you can see we have the section layout, which is slide. You can change it to grid if you want. Just leave it as it is. Here you can see we have the show category. What type of category or the product category should be appear inside this area? Right now, there is computer and laptop and headphones. Only two categories are visible in this area. You can add more if you want, but inside this column, you should add only two type of category. Here you can delete your sample categories and add your own category. Okay, like computer and laptop, whatever type of category you want to add, add over here. So in the same way, you can edit any type of column by clicking on the edit column button or you can edit the whole section or you can edit any image. This is an image element that has been added by default by clicking on this pencil icon. You can replace this image with your own image. Okay. And you can add a link to this image. Let's say this is a product that you have listed on your website and you want to send the customer to that product by clicking on this image. When someone click on this image, that person should be go to the product page. So you have to add the product page URL over here. But right now there is no product URL. So they have added only hash. So in the same way, you can add yoga equipments, toy ideas, or any kind of product that you have on your e-commerce website. The rest of the things are the same. These are the images and these are the columns. When you click over here, you can see we have the Alamito product section. This is the element that has been added over here. If you click over here, you can see there are section layout is a slide and product layout is a three or you can increase or decrease the number from here. And you can see these are the categories that has been added inside this section. Okay. So in the same way, you can literally change anything from this dummy template remove the sample products and images and everything and add your own original product and images inside your e-commerce website i hope you understand if you still don't understand how to edit page with elementor i already created a video tutorial for you guys don't forget to check out the description box of this video and learn and watch my elementor video tutorial to learn more about elementor page builder okay that's pretty much it just play around with it. You can learn Elementor page builder within a few hours. It's all up to you guys. Designing a website is all about creativity. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on update button inside your Elementor page builder. Now click on this burger menu icon and then click on the exit button. And now click on decide later. It will exit out your editing section of Elementor page builder. Anyways, click over here to view the page. Now how you mouse over here, click on visit site. Now let's click on customization once again. And now let's look at how you can replace this number with your own number. Or if you don't like to show your number, you can change this area to something else. Let me show you how you can do it. In your customization section, go to layout and options and go to header and go to main header. Scroll down here you can see. We have the header option, we have call to, we have widget, we have social media and we have the button. If you select a button, we have the button text, name your button or you can type your button link. Or you have the option to add your social media handles as well. Below you can see we have the sticky header effect, effect 2 or effect 1. It's all up to you. Like I mentioned earlier, it's all about creativity guys. Go to social media, here you can add your Facebook page URL, LinkedIn. Pinterest URL and so on. Here you can see 
If you don't like any, simply delete that. So you can see we simply remove that LinkedIn. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click on publish. So like I mentioned earlier, you have to go through these settings one by one, play around with it and see what happens when you change these settings. Okay. So once you completely design your website, you're not finished there. You still have to improve your website in order to, in order to make any sale. Like you have to make your website SEO friendly. You have to submit your website on popular search engines like Google, Bing and Yahoo in order to rank on the first page on Google or any other popular search engines. If you do not know anything about SEO, just go to the description box of this video and watch my video tutorial where I'll show you guys how to submit your website or literally any kind of website on popular search engines like Google, Bing and Yahoo. Once you submit your website, you have to watch a tutorial series where I'll show you what to do next once you create your WordPress website. And that's the pretty much it. I wish you good luck with your e-commerce journey. I hope you learned something from today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, I'll see you next time.